Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to review two battery chargers that are going to allow you to charge multiple wireless batteries either at home or on the go. The first charger I'm going to start with is this one from Beta FEV. I had it for about 4 months and so far it's been working great. In order to use it you will need to use either a 3S or a 4S type of battery with an XT60 connector and unfortunately the battery type is not selected automatically so you have to use this switch. If it's switched to the right 3S is selected and if it's switched to the left it means now 4S battery is selected and after plugging it in you can also see the battery voltage on this LED indicator which is a little bit hard to read. On the top of the charger we can find the ports to charge the battery. We have a 1.25 and 2mm connectors. You can either use one of them when charging the battery so you can't charge 12 batteries simultaneously. In addition you can change the battery type using this switch. If it's switched to the top the battery is on HV mode which means the terminal voltage is going to be 4.35 volts and if it's switched to the bottom it's going to be charged up to 4.2 volts. The charging current is set to 400 milliampere and it cannot be changed. So now I'm going to plug some batteries and also over here. And if you want to start the charging procedure, you will have to press this button. And now we can see the green indicators indicates that the battery is full or no battery is connected. And you can see these two red indicators indicates that the battery is currently being charged. Once they will transform to green, it means that the charging procedure has been finished. If you want to stop the charging procedure, you can just simply press this button or you can simply disconnect the LiPo battery. So as you can see, this is a pretty simple charger. It's not hard to operate and so far, as I mentioned before, it's been working great and I don't have any complaints. It's been charging the battery up to the correct end voltage, which is also very important because in the end of the day, you want to make sure that the battery is full when you finish charging it. So now let's move on to the second charger. This charger is by ZMR, now it's being sold under the King of name and it's a little bit different than the one I've got. The difference is that this one has a buzzer and the other one has a LED indicator that it will tell you the voltage. So I don't think this model is being sold anymore. It's pretty bad because I really like the buzzer feature so it could be nice if they could combine both. But unfortunately now you're only getting the LED indicator. I actually paid less for this charger, I got it for about $14 and it offers a couple of more features than the other simple charger. First of all it can be powered with LiPo batteries between 2 to 6S so it's a pretty wide range and in addition you can also power it with this DC in jack. This is a standard 2.1 mm connector so you can also power it with this battery for example or a fetch hook battery or you can simply use an AC adapter to charge it at home. Just like the XT60 connector, the walking voltage of the DC in should be between 7.4 volts to 26 volts. On the top we can find the charging ports just like the other charger. So we have a 1.25 and 2 mm connectors. You can select if you want to charge an HV or regular battery using this switch. If it's set to the right it means it's going to be on 4.2 volts mode and if you switch it to the left it's going to be on HV mode. Unlike the other charger where the charging cord is set to 400 milliampere, this one can be changed using this switch over here. If the switch is set to the right, the charging cord is going to be on 0.6 ampere, and if it's set to the bottom, it's going to be set to 0.2 amperes. So that's pretty nice because it will enable you to charge safely different batteries with different capacities. So let's plug a battery. Now you could hear the buzzer that indicates that the battery is connected and you can also set the voltage alarm for the battery using this switch over here. You can change it between 3.4, 3.5, 3.6 and 3.7 volts of course per cell. So if you want to change this value you will need to long press this button over here until it flashes. And now we can change the alarm between all this mode. I think it's advisable to set it to 3.5 volts and once it will reach this value per cell the alarm will beep and it will also stop the charging procedure and will let you know that you need to change it to a different battery. By the way if you use a battery that is below this level the charger is just not going to work and you're going to see all these LED indicators so I'm going to use now a depleted battery to show you that it just won't work. And you can see after connecting this battery for example it beeps a few times and you can see all the LED indicators are on which means that this battery is depleted and you need to use another one. So now let's charge a battery. By the way this charger also came with these adapters that will allow it to charge also different type of batteries so that's nice. So let's just use this battery for example. 
And you can see that as soon as I plugged it, this LED indicator was turned on. Once it will be turned off, it means that the battery is full. So unlike the other charger, you don't have any button to start or stop the charging procedure. Another nice feature that this charger has is this USB port. According to the specifications, it outputs 5 volts at 2.4 amperes. Unfortunately, I won't be able to verify it because I won't be able to connect my charger doctor because it just won't fit because of the XC60 connector. Also, when plugging the DC in on this port, it just wouldn't fit. And I really think that it should have twisted the USB port to fit on this side because otherwise it pretty much limits you. And if it faced this side, it would have been much easier to connect USB peripherals. So just to make sure that it works, I'm going to connect this cable and you can see that this LED indicator turned on so the USB is working. It didn't work with my Galaxy S8 charger so I don't really think it outputs 2.4 amperes. I think it's much lower. So it's not a good solution for charging devices on the go using a LiPo battery unlike the ISDT BatGo which I've been using for a long time and so far it's been a great solution to charge USB devices on the go using LiPo batteries. So overall, if you fly tiny whoops and you're in the market for a good 1S charger, I would go with this one. It provides a better value for money. You can power it up using an XC60 connector and also this DC in plug. You can power it up with batteries between 2S to 6S, so it's a pretty wide range and probably will fit most of your LiPo batteries. In addition, it comes with this USB connector, which will enable you to charge USB peripherals on the go, which can be also very useful. You can change the current, so you can use different type of batteries. And it also comes with these adapters, which you might find handy. So as always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about these chargers, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.